cookies and kinks, cookies and kinks, eat it and you'll have 40 winks. Cookies and kinks, cookies and kinks, you gotta work those kinks out now. Bup, bup. Cookies and bup, bup. kinks, and kinks, and kinks for plenty. Costumes kind of like Return of the Jedi. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, it actually. How could you fight in that? Like, this is a metal, like, bikini. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it kind of protects you, but it'd also be super heavy. And not to mention itchy. the little bit, the little bit of chain mail that pinch at your skin. Ah, the so tight. Yeah, and then you wear it in like a very hot environment. It's like, oh. And you're supposed to fight someone, like, not just like with a sword, but actually. Fist to fist, fist to cuffs, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, this is pretty much all the famous heroines in the from SNK franchise. Universe. And then a few characters from like Street Fighter EX, uh, Samurai Showdown, you said. I'm well, even sure. Well, Samurai them. Showdown is the SNK. Yeah, that's true. Um, um, probably, no, I think it's more Million Arthur, it's called the game. Yeah, because uh, when the Arthurs was very shown. different. Uh, I don't fully understand. Like apparently, if you lose your super bar or something, you get stunned. Is no, that what yeah, no, no, no. When your health bar hits red, you get stunned. Then and they can do like a fatality. Or well, yeah, more. Kick well, out okay. Um, this gameplay style is kind of reminiscent of. Um, the Sony uh, Battle Royale games. Oh, the Battle All Stars. Yeah, um, where uh, you basically build up a super meter and hitting them with your special move is what kicks them out. Not. I thought it was a lot of fun. I mean, the moves, there's a lot of sparkles and cakes flying around everywhere. and uh, But the moves were pretty cool. Um, they seem fairly connected and original. And uh, it's kind of a shame this game hasn't been picked up. Like, I think it came out last fall, if I remember right. Yeah. It's kind of pricey. I think I paid like almost the full price of like 55, which is quite a bit. And then there's like $30 or something of DLC. So there's a lot of characters and costumes, um, at least DLC wise. But I think in total, there's only like 20 characters with the DLC. Yeah. Something like that. It's, it's not, it's, there's not a lot, like 15 or 20. It's really sad because uh, the most I've heard about this game before uh, before uh, we played it was uh, that Terry Bogard was a man, man female. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Bogard is a man, <laughs> but not in this. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the shame. Like I don't think this game really got a lot of coverage. It was actually on the PS4 originally, and I and I'm like, oh, it's cool. I I hadn't even heard of this game personally, and then it's like. Suddenly, one day, I think like a few weeks later, it's like, oh, it's on Steam. That's pretty cool. Like, that's so random. I wanted to play this game, and suddenly they put it on Steam. This should happen more often. <laughs> yeah, I, I think well, they did Microsoft, a good job, but the graphics are pretty good. Like, it feels like a cell shaded um, anime. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to describe. It's cell shaded. It's kind of like Jump Force, what they should have done with Jump Force. That's how I feel. Like, instead of looking like puppets, they look like very textured. Yeah. Um, I think Capcom should on. also take a page from them. Especially yeah, it with uh, like Marvel. Capcom Infinite a little bit. Yeah. But less like blocky. Like sharp angles. That's what I remember Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So it's kind of like that but a bit better shaded I think. The closest I can think of Marvel Infinite what it looks like in Spider-Man. He sort of has a, almost the same kind of look. But uh, no, I thought this was a lot of fun. Um, we tried what? like half the roster or almost almost half the roster yeah yeah i think if they added a ton of dlc like more dlc i think this game would really uh you know really get a lot more interesting as it is i think it's fun I'm not sure about the 50 bucks and then another 30 of dlc but i'm thinking like if you can get it for 30 go for it and then the, then the 30 dlc would be a bit more you know, manageable. My rule of thumb is always buy the base game first. If you really like it, yeah. then buy the DLC. Yeah, but no, like what's there? It's really cool. It's fairly well polished. The moves are interesting. It's a lot of flying cake, as we said, and cookies, and I don't even know, uh, small fluffy rabbits, and I don't know what 
that it was squirrels or this game gets a cutie yeah, out of it's, 10. It's, it's a cutie out of cutesy. Uh, I I like it a lot. I'd give it probably an 8, 8.5. Like it's it's just it's really suffering on the lack of character side. So if they could like add more than one character at a time, that'd be great. You know, another five to ten and it would really fill out the roster. I feel. Yeah, especially nowadays where we have 70 like, plus, yeah. Smash and Tekken 7 and Dead or Alive 6, I think is a decent chunk. And Street Fighter 5. Yeah, there's a lot of DLC for Street Fighter 5. But no, I, I like this game. I, I just hope they like continue to support it with more DLC. That's the weakest thing. Yeah. Not enough characters. Because the worst thing you could ever have for a fighting game is just release it and then like one month later only release like one bit of DLC and that's it. You leave it for dead. Yeah, and like one char new character after a long time, like six months to eight months. Like same thing with the the uh, uh, the layer fighting game. I'm trying to remember what it, the full name. That also has Skullo. Uh There's only one new character in like six to eight months. EX that's layers. Not enough. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's a shame because one new character is not enough. You need to continually support. It. Yeah. So, especially if it's going to be like a competitive fighting scene thing, so. Alright. Well done. Keep on fighting. Alright. Cookies and cakes and metal bikinis, everyone. And cookies and kinks. And the kinks. You got your cookies Don't in my Don't forget kinks. your kinks. With your cake.